You're not going to regret this, are you? No. With that, the contract is final. Chisei Hattori. No difficulty breathing, is there? <laughs> Very well then, let's go. These creatures, not human or animal, but something else. I've seen plenty of unusual things. I guess I shouldn't be surprised. It doesn't matter. I just want some place I can call home. And now, for the item you've all been waiting for. A rarity, even among our current offerings. We'll open at 500,000. 1.1 million! 1.8! 2 million! Look, see who it is? 2.25! I have 2,250,000. Going once, going twice. Excuse me. Five million. It's decided. You will be my apprentice. Who is he? What the hell do you think he's up to? I'm not sure. Prepare a reception room. Wait! You have agreed to the price of five million pounds. He spent a fortune on me. Who is he to throw Japanese. around money like that? She's docile, so she shouldn't give you any trouble. It was an unexpected honor to see you at the auction. However, we must ask that you follow the same rules as everyone else, including staying off the stage. I'm not here for small talk or a lecture. You, come. No need to keep your head down. Back straight, chin lifted, eyes forward. Understood? Yes. 
I'll be borrowing your lobby. By all means. He's some kind of monster? Careful what you say. You wouldn't want him to hear you. He is neither a con artist nor an alchemist. He's the genuine article, a rarity these days. Shame. I can't believe we allowed him to win it. The sleigh beggy's his. The sleigh beggy? So you can see them. Excellent. <gasps> um, were you speaking to me? Do you see anyone else here I might have been speaking to? What's your name? Chise. My name is Chise Hattori. My name is Elias. Elias Ainsworth. Pleasure to meet you, my little puppy. From what I've observed so far, it appears that you have the sight. How fortunate. Fortunate? Take her in. Think of the expense. What would people think if we gave her to an orphanage, though? She's acting all strange again. Why is she so creepy? She scares me. Someday we will be able to change that. Some people may appreciate your passivity, but I am not one of them. I paid good money for you. I didn't come here looking for a doll. Carry yourself like somebody who is worth looking at. Um, but I... Now. Close your eyes and stand close to me. You may feel a bit dizzy. Nettle in the shadow. False holly in a ring. Twine the branches. Entangle. Enmesh. Spin a spider's web. You can open your eyes now. As I expected, we made it in one leap. Welcome. This is my home. And as of today, it is yours as well. Uh, wait, hold on. I'm confused. Where are we? How did we get here from the auction house? We're to the west of London, in the countryside on the outskirts of England. Uh, we're in England now? And what am I an apprentice of? Oh, here. You won't be needing that anymore. As of today, you are my pupil, an apprentice mage. A mage? There's no way. We're a dying breed. And I warn you, you may find me a bit old-fashioned. I welcome you into my home as my new apprentice, Slave Eggy. No. Chise. I can do it myself. I know how to take a bath. But do you know how to use this tub? Besides, you're filthy. I'll help wash you up. Come now. Stop fueling like a skittish kitten. 
Immerse yourself completely or you'll take a chill. He saw everything. Come out when you've warmed up. This is nice. I wasn't sure I would ever get to take a real bath again. You know, if you're so eager to throw your life away, perhaps you should consider giving it to someone who would make better use of it than you can. intent on using for our kind. There are so many better names you could use, though, sweetie. That's right. You should call us your neighbors. Or your good friends. Hey, you're a sleigh beggy, aren't you? Taking a sleigh beggy for an apprentice. That silly foreign maid, sometimes I wonder what he's thinking. Dear thing, sweet as honeyed wine. More valuable than a treasure chest. More precious than the most beautiful fairy flower. Adorable. Adorable. Our dainty little robin. If you're going to become a mage, we will give you all the help you need. We're happy to look out for you, beloved. Just say the word. <laughs> beloved. Kisei? <laughs> Are you all right? Not overheating? Um, yes, I, I'm fine, I swear. It's all under control. Please, you don't need to come in here. <laughs> They're gone. Have some food and drink. I imagine it's been a long day. He's going to a lot of trouble to make me feel welcome. You look like you have a great many questions. In lieu of a bedtime story, Ask and I shall do my best to answer. There, uh, were fairies in the bathroom. Ah, those were the aerials. I'm not surprised they greeted you. They're attracted to anything new and shiny. They're aerials. And is it true, what you had said before about you being a mage? Yes, it's true. And, uh, when you say apprentice? I mean apprentice, my little puppy. Slaybeggy are exceedingly rare. I was very lucky to find you. I hadn't heard that term before today. What is a slaybeggy? The best comparison I can think of is a queen bee. You, or rather your kind, slaybeggy, have the unique ability to attract and bind all manner of things. Specifically, fey creatures. Think of fey beings as worker bees. They are drawn to their queen whether she can see them or not. Not all queens see them? It appears you have that ability, but it is not a common one among your kind. Nor is it necessarily a blessing. They bring ill luck as often as good. Ill luck? What they may intend as kindness and generosity does not always translate as such in the human world. However, to be favored by them means you will never be without assistance. You need their aid in order to perform magic, so their attraction to you is not without its benefits. You may not think it now, but I suspect you will become a great mage someday. That said, I won't force you down a path you don't wish to take. I'm bought and paid for. Are you telling me I can do whatever I want now? <laughs> well, no. However, you may think things over. 
Becoming a mage is just one of many possible paths. As my apprentice, you're like family to me now, which means you can depend on me. I'm family? This is an adder stone. The hole eroded naturally at the bottom of a river. It will help to protect you. Wear it always. Come here, Silver. You must be tired. Why don't you turn in now? Would you please show her to her room? First a hot bath, and now my own bedroom? Family, huh? What is that scent? It almost smells like grass. You're the fa- oh, oh, I mean, you're the neighbor. Hello again. Care for a midnight stroll? There's a lovely forest nearby. I don't know. Oh, come on, it'll be fine. We'll just go out for a little bit. A good walk will wear you out and you'll sleep that much better. Now let's get going. What a foolish child. Still, it will make for a good lesson. <laughs> it's like the air is filled with sparkles. That's the trail we leave as we fly. No surprise you could see that too. So, tell me about your family. I don't have one. I was passed around by different relatives. What were they like? Were they kind to you? She say? Kind's not the word I would use. I don't think I would be here now if I'd been able to love them. Oh. Hey, we've come a pretty long way, haven't we? Don't worry your pretty little head about it. Let's keep going. It won't be a problem. After all, you aren't going to be returning to him anyway. <gasps> we finally managed to pull one over on the Thorn Mage. Wait, what are you saying? I'm taking you back to our land, sweet Robin. The others will be terribly cross with me if I don't. Oh, don't look so nervous. It'll be great. A lot easier than living in the human world. Look, the way's even open! Through here lies the fairy kingdom, a world of freedom and fun! You'll like it, I promise! Wait, hold on. Well, come on! No, I'm going back. Back where, exactly? It's not like you have a family waiting for you. Come with us. Why stay here when you can be happy in the fairy kingdom? She's right. I don't have anybody. Home. Nonsense! You're being silly! What possible reason could you have to go back to that house? In my whole life, nobody has ever made me feel like I was welcome. But... That's exactly what he did. Maybe I'm just a plaything. Maybe he'll get bored and toss me out. But even so... 
For one day, he made me part of his family. So... <laughs> ah, excellent. <gasps> it looks like my puppy has already learned where her den is. You came for me? Thorn! How did you know where we were? Not difficult when her collar has a bell on it. Be gone. I'll forgive you this once. Next time, you'll be Aithnichi food. You think you could protect our Robin Bonehead? I wouldn't be so sure! I can and I will. You're welcome to join us when you change your mind, she say. Bye! She say. <laughs> We learned a good lesson tonight, didn't we? Fey creatures are fond of seducing humans with sweet words and pretty promises. I'm sure you'll be more careful in the future. <laughs> I... I'm sorry. No, I should have warned you about their tactics straight off. <clears throat> After all, it's my duty to guide and inform you whenever possible. As my apprentice, you should be able to depend on me for such things. He's so warm. But, am I imagining it? Or does he seem a little tense? Hey! Wh what are you doing? It's easy to get lost in the forest. Uh. I'll carry you. Now let's go home. We'll need to patch up your arm when we get to the house. I wouldn't want my future wife to end up with nasty scars. Hold on, what's that about a wife? Oh, haven't I said? I told you earlier that I purchased you to be my apprentice. And that's still true. <gasps> but you should know, I also hope to make you my bride. The girl departs for London with a powerful mage. Unfamiliar towns, unfamiliar people. The world offers a kind hand to a lonely child. But will that be all? Shall we begin preparing for our honeymoon? <laughs>